Great. Welcome back, Crown Council members. We want to welcome Frank and Jeremy Brown from Watson Brown, longtime resource partners of the Crown Council. Um, we are thrilled to have them on with us today to share uh, their tip and insight on coming out of this pandemic and what we can do in our offices to be proactive as we look into the future. Um, had some good conversation with them recently and uh, want to turn the time over to both Frank and Jeremy to share uh, their tip. Take it away. I'll, I'll start off by saying I have a great deal of empathy for all these dentists and what they're going through. And I've followed the emails and I've seen the preparations they've made to reopen, the challenges that they're faced with, the PPE issues, the foggers. And, and I'm going to skip over that pretty quickly because in the practices that we work with and, and down a few months down the road, I'm not going to say that's irrelevant, but I'm going to talk about the things that are important in a transition real quickly and in working with banks or in planning for the future. And that is we expect and, and knowing them how diligent your dentists are, they're gonna do the right things. They've got tremendous resources to discuss this amongst themselves, but now let's talk about what's gonna be important for the future. One is to have a plan, two is to get that practice up and going, get cash flows up and get your staff in there and get them working as a team together and in this kind of new environment and get that practice where it can even grow because there's some opportunities out there. Jeremy, what, what have you seen or what have you heard lately? Yeah, I think a lot of doctors are wondering, how is this going to affect my, my future transition plan? Is this going to be a negative stain on my, my uh, valuation of my practice? Um, and, you know, doctors have been around long enough, know that sometimes the economy takes bumps, sometimes there's natural disasters or things that are out of our control that we just can't control. And the big thing is, is what can I control? And that's making sure my staff and my patients feel comfortable and that uh, we've got an open, successful, operating, functioning business in, in our dental practice that's going to take care of everyone that comes in those doors. Because there are, there are dental practices we, we see by the droves that just are collapsing emotionally, physically, financially, because they just don't know how to take their practice and reopen it. And so uh, this is something where Crown Council members are going to succeed. Uh, they are going to say, okay, what are we, what are we going to do to, to hit, hit these challenges? Okay, I gotta, I, I got, we got the PPE together. Now let's let's go back to our core. How do we take care of our patients? How do we take care of the staff? And and that's really, I know, as common sense as it is, that's what's going to make the practices successful is going back to your core values and making sure you have an opening functioning business, because at the end of the day, those practices that just can't open the doors and can't get the the basic core values in place are going to struggle and and ultimately fail. Yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, Frank. Anything else um, to, to add to the group? Well, it's really good to as have I mentioned, you. it's still important to have a plan. And it's just like having a treatment plan with your patient and kind of knowing what you want to do, where you'd like to be, and getting a little bit of, of a soundboard. And, and we offer that and are happy to visit with any of the doctors. We do it at the Crown Council events. We do it some luncheons, we, we'll do it over the phone. We, if we can work with a doctor that really wants to plan three years, five years out, ask some questions, engage their spouse with them so that they have kind of, they're on the same ground and then kind of understand what is involved in a transition. We're going through some changing times now, but it's gonna change again 12 months from now. And and things are gonna change for them and where and how they see things. And, and even day-to-day -day challenges that they're facing change as they work through. But, but having a plan is very valuable. Everyone had to close down. The US was closed down basically. I don't wanna get political on us, essential, non-essential and all these kind of things. But on valuation purposes, they're not gonna be dinged for being closed for two or three months. They're going to be dinged if they don't recover and show yeah. that they have a business that can thrive and grow again. 
That's the value. That's what goodwill is all about. Not just patience, but it's going into the future and showing someone I have a solid business and you can see the progress that we've made and know that we're back. Mm, that's so good. Frank and Jeremy, uh, always a pleasure to talk with you guys. And, and like you mentioned, it will be good to see you again at uh, some upcoming events. Uh, Thanks, thank you. Thank you, Nat Fletcher. Talk to you soon. And uh, for everyone listening, you can also check out all the links and um, contact information for Frank and Jeremy on this email. So uh, thanks uh, for joining us today and talk to you guys soon. Thank you.